What is going on guys? This is Nikhil from Mobox and in today's After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create some complex looking transition in After Effects in the easiest way. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video and get started. Alright, so here we are in After Effects. So let's start by creating a new composition, which is going to be 1920 into 1080, 30 frames and let's make this 10 seconds should be good enough and let's rename this to our main composition and hit ok then I'm gonna create a new composition which is gonna be let's say 500 by 500 pixels and this is gonna be our main animation so I'm just gonna name this animation and hit ok then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right over here and double click on this rectangle tool so we get something like this a rectangle and then go to rectangle path just make some room right over here and select the path and hit right click and convert to bezier path so now what we can do is if i go right over here into path and select the path and manipulate this point so you can see create some different shape but i don't want this point so i'm just going to select it and delete it so now we have a triangle something like that let's rename this to a one and then i'm going to basically just you know animate this up so let's go to let's say 20 frames select the layer hit b to bring down the position properties hit on the stopwatch to create a keyframe and let's go back in time just drag this holding shift just like that all right and then I'm gonna hold shift again and just drag it up like that just like that so now we have something like this you can see maybe it, it just too far so maybe I'll just place it right over there so now we have something like that let's select this hit F9 to ease them go to graph editor and maybe I'll create kind of a peak right over here so we should have something like that maybe just drag it up yeah this is looking pretty good then let's make change the color you can keep it any color that you want to go with i'm just going to keep it at white hit ctrl d to duplicate it hit u so you can see the position keyframes and then i'm going to hit s to bring down the scale properties unlink this and set this to minus 100 or maybe I'll just rotate it. So just rotate this up just like that. Around 180 degrees. There we go. Hit U so we can see the keyframes. And just remove the keyframes. Click on the position stopwatch. Go back in time and just drag it just like that. Just like we did before. Select it. Hit F9. Mm, basically, I should you know select both the keyframes of both the layers and hit f9 select them and just drag it up just like that so now we have something like that pretty simple nothing really cool but we're gonna make it look cool so here we have the basic animation now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna select this layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it bring them down change the color so we can just you know see it more properly and select the this top layer and just drag this a bit behind and change the color of these two layers to anything that you would like to go with something like maybe a red something like that you know looks cool you see now you can create number of copies that you want to go with and more complex if you want to make it more complex so we're going to try to make it more complex than the example one so let's see what we can do right away here um, what I can do is I can just select them and pre-comp it. Let's call this all one. Okay. Hit Control D to duplicate it. Hit R to rotate it and rotate this by 45 degrees or maybe 90 degrees. And now we should have something like that. See, it's pretty cool. So before we uh, you know make it more complex, let's see how it will look with the transition when we turn it into a transition. So to do that, what I'm going to do is go into our main composition that we previously created and drag in our O1 that is the main animation that we just created. Oh, 
this is the animation that we just created and i think this is just too big maybe i'll just scale this down to around 50 percent yep that is looking pretty good and let's add an effect called motion tile now it's an inbuilt effect and pretty cool actually so we can now play around with the width and height and you know output the width so let's bring it right over here let's set this to maybe 25 and this is 25 as well now we have something like that and it's you know you need to play around with this something like that so you have a very you know complex looking transition already which looks pretty cool you can increase this i'm gonna increase the size maybe i'll just set this to 50 by 50 and you can see right off the bat we get this really cool looking transition Control z and just turn this the mirror edges you can see we get a completely different looking effect which looks really really cool you can see pretty cool right you can also maybe animate the face to create a different look like the combination and the design that you can create with this effect is limitless you know really really cool you can see this is looking pretty good actually for now i'm just gonna set this to zero so to make it look a bit more complex and to add a bit more you know dynamic i can say i'm gonna add a stroke animation increase the stroke to let's say around 10 change the color to something like a blue maybe don't need to fill i'm just gonna keep it something like that we'll make it let's make it 20. let's rename this to line and add a trim path there we go now we can animate our trim parts like that i don't know why there are two shapes actually i just created one shape oh that is one so i just don't need it i can just delete it so i'm gonna go right over here maybe i'll just start from the beginning let's bring this down click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe go to let's say maybe 15 frames bring this up to 100 and maybe i'll go to 10 frames create a keyframe by hitting on the stopwatch of the start option or the start property go right over here let's bring this up to 100 select them hit f9 to ease them and just drag it or maybe on the other side so just select them and just drag it just like that so we have something like that let's see in our main composition it's gonna create a different look as you can see looks pretty cool so i'm gonna add one more stroke so basically i'm just gonna duplicate it maybe i'll just increase the size of the stroke to 25 pixels and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and just drag this below like so you can also turn on the title action save just to be a bit more precise let's drag it this one and just drag it right over here and now you can see we have a really complex looking transition and it's really easy you can create different number of shapes like i told you guys it's the the combination that you can create with this kind of an effect is limitless you can create different kind of a combination with shapes uh, or images or footages or whatever you can use with you know let's see what else we can do right away here. maybe what we can do is we can just select this lines pre-com this call this lines hit ctrl d to duplicate it rotate it to maybe around minus 90 degrees now we have something like that let's go right over here now it's getting a bit too complex you can see but it looks pretty cool and interesting effect now to do the animation out you just basically need to reverse the animation and to do that i'm gonna i'm just gonna go to one second right over here hit alt and close bracket to crop this up hit ctrl d to duplicate it right click go to time 
and time reverse layer and just drag it by holding shift and just snap this up. So now we have the out animation as well and there we go we have a really complex looking transition which looks really really cool interesting so yep that is a wrap for today i hope this video was helpful to you guys and if it was do let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next video